Hi, I'm back again for another one for hashtag 7 days 7 VR. So I'm on day 3, which is 25 witchy, witchy questions, wacky questions. 25 wacky questions, and this is from our girl Lisa at Supportive Tarot. So here we go. One, what is something you hate but you wish you loved? Gosh, something I hate. Probably physical activity, <laughs> sports. I mean, just any kind of, uh, you know, gym exercise. That's it, exercise. I hate exercise, but I wish I didn't. Um, what is your favorite flavor of ice cream? Dark chocolate. Three. Which celebrity chef would you most like to make you dinner? Elton Brown, hands down. What's your favorite childhood book? Okay, this one might be controversial, but it was my very favorite book when I was a kid. And there was nothing wrong with it at the time, but the book was called Little Black Sambo. And it was actually about um, an, a little Indian boy. And he, he got some new clothes. And he was going out in town to get something for his mom. And he was surrounded by tigers. And the tigers wanted his new clothes and all his new stuff. And so kid's scared to death. So he takes off his clothes and gives him all his stuff. And the tigers get jealous between themselves. And they start chasing each other around in circles. And they turned into ghee. So the little boy scooped it up and he took it home to his mama. It's a sweet story, I thought. But, of course, it's one of those because of... Um, it was about an Indian boy. But when the story came over here, they turned it into uh, a racial thing, which I think is horrible. I, I hate that. But it was one of my very favorite books that I would have my mom read to me every night. So I love that book. Um, are you a morning person or a night owl? Number five. I think I'm a morning person. Just because I work so damn early in the morning. I never used to be, but you know, when you get old, that happens, I guess. If you want to go to bed early, <laughs> I'm not up for partying all night anymore. Uh, six, if everything in your house had to be just one color, what color would you choose? Well, of course, purple. Purple, purple. What is your favorite day of the week? Friday. Can you whistle? Not well. But I could do it. <laughs> Nine. If you had to choose one cartoon character to be your best friend, what character would you choose? Okay, everybody. Are you going to say it with me? Ready? One, two, three. SpongeBob! Okay. <laughs> 10. Do you believe in ghosts and would you ever go ghost hunting? Um, yes and hell yes. 11. Which of the seven dwarves is most like you? Grumpy, happy, sleepy, bashful, dopey, sneezy doc. Well, my Andy used to call me grumpy. <laughs> So, for my Andy, I'll be grumpy. <laughs> Twelve, what is one of your favorite smells? Freshly baked bread. Thirteen, would you rather be able to copy and paste in real life or undo? Oh, totally undo. <laughs> Absolutely undo. I mean, it's great if you're doing really good to copy and paste, but most of the time, I would just like to be able to extract my foot out of my mouth. Um, so, yeah. What's the best type of cheese? 
any cheese. Any cheese. I should have been born in Wisconsin. I love cheese that much. If you had a warning label, what would yours say? If I had a warning label. Um, don't piss it off. <laughs> That's probably it. Don't piss it off. Uh, what's the one food you could never bring yourself to eat? Liver. For years, my mom <laughs> tried disguising liver in various ways. And she never could get it past me. Nope. Just not doing it. Say no to liver. 17. If your five-year-old self suddenly found themselves inhabiting your current body, what would your five-year-old self do first? Get a book. I was an only child, so I spent an awful lot of time by myself. And books and music were my go-tos. So I think my five-year-old self would go get a book because my, my mom would read me stories every night before I went to bed. And sometimes we would, she would read to me just, you know, in the evening time. So yeah, I would go get a book. 18. If you could shop for free at one store, which one would you choose? Ooh. Ooh. Hmm. Wow, that's a toughie. No, I wouldn't say Walmart or Amazon or something like that. I would probably, hmm. Well, I could say Lane Bryant because I could get all the clothes I ever wanted and stuff. So, I'm going to say Lane Bryant. 19. If you had a bottomless budget to build a fort, what would yours look like? A castle. Absolutely. I'd build a castle. 20. What's your favorite kind of sandwich? Pastrami and Swiss on rye. Mm. 21. What's your favorite type of clothing? I hate clothes. <laughs> Personally. Um, my mother called me. Uh, she said I was a nudist at a young age. Because she could never keep me in clothes. So, but uh, currently, because I also have a skin condition, I'm just full of it. Um, it's cotton. I love cotton clothing because it's, it's airy and breezy. So, cotton. How do you feel about putting pineapple on pizza? Seriously? Don't do that, man. Breaks the pizza. 23. Do you sing in the shower? No, I don't sing in the shower. Um, but <laughs> I do occasionally talk to myself. <laughs> I have the best pep talks in the shower. Um, <laughs> I do a lot of my witching in the shower. So, yeah. 24. Have you ever caught something on fire while you were cooking? Actually, I have uh, the hand towel. Um, you know how you have the hand towel over your shoulder? Well, I didn't have it over my shoulder. I had it on the stove. And the corner got into the grate and caught fire. So, yeah. <laughs> Fortunately, you know, we saw it go up as, you know, it got put out as soon as it happened. So, that was all good. And 25, if you could have any mythical creature as a pet, what would it be? Griffin. I would love a griffin. Amazing animal. Part lion, part eagle. Best of both worlds. Okay, that's it for this one. Stay tuned for the next one.